in this video we're gonna see how to remove the throttle body from this Volkswagen hybrid we're gonna see some live data using this Foxwell i70 Pro we're gonna check the voltage values at the connectors so you can compare the values with the ones you're gonna find at home on your car and a couple of more details so first let's go and analyze some screenshots of the live data which I took from this car now since this is a hybrid the engine will be turned on and off a lot of times so we've got a point here where the engine is off but then it comes alive we can see the load value it goes together with the throttle position so we've got here the blue line down to 12 degrees so it goes up and follows this calculated load value and we've got as well the intake manifold absolute pressure sensor which again will go up and down depending of the load value on the engine so this is an example of what you want to see on live data and this is a known good situation so we have to take out the air filter housing and to do that we gotta remove this small intake hose from this side i already released the hose clamp so i can just take it out i'm gonna use my special hose clamp tool which i highly recommend that you also buy because on this car you're gonna find a lot of hose clamps and the nice part about this tool is that you can lock the hose clamp Now unplug this PCV hose from here. Now we've got the second part of the intake hose. You've got attached two hose clamps. These are already removed by me. I just placed them on the side so I can wiggle out the intake hose. Now if you look down here, you can already see the throttle body. And we can also have access to the throttle body connector, which has a six wire. But we want to take it out from here and clean it. Now we need to take out this intake hose from here. I think the best way is to disconnect it first from here. As you can see, we've got the pipe connected to the turbocharger here, which is kind of interesting because usually this hot air will travel first through intercooler. And on the side here, we've got two plastic clips, like huge plastic clips. Okay, so I finally managed to remove this hose from here. Positive crankcase ventilation hose. Maybe it's easier from here, let's see. Hose clamps. And this is pretty crazy. Why you don't put like normal hose clamps here? All right, finally it's out. All right, so now finally we've got access to the throttle body and we can remove it with a T30. Just have a long extension. One thing that all the Volkswagen do is that they use this type of screw bolt to tighten the throttle body like this type of threads and you can see we've got some oil here obviously the turbocharger is pumping some oil into this hose now let's unplug the connector from the throttle body and the throttle body comes out there is actually quite a lot of oil on the other side and here is the part number if you need it next i'm going to show you what values you need to read at the connector when you have the ignition on now i'm going to actually turn the engine on that's at least theoretically and let's connect first the black terminal in the corner here on the left 1068 let's move to the next pin 0 0.02 let's see the next pin we've got 5 volts so nothing on these pins let's move to pin number two let's see between two and three we've got 10.68 again 2 and 4 10.07 2 and 5 10.68 2 and 6 again 10.68 3 and 4 we've got 5 volts again 3 and 5 nothing 3 and 6 nothing so make sure that your needle connectors are not touching any other thing than the pin you are trying to test 4 and 5 we've got the 5 volts 4 and 6 again 5 volts 5 and 6 nothing and there you can see that the pins are numbered we've got full continuity between 3 and 5 one more thing you want to inspect is this gasket which will not allow any air leak throttle body adaptation we've got Volkswagen here this is how you perform it now the problem is that this car has some faults in the engine system so i'm not going to be able to do that right now but it's very simple you just follow the instructions and you're going to do that throttle sensor reset and i will do that reset later 
Okay guys, so that was pretty much it for today's video. Thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you in the next video.